welcome to this month's crochet club. Um, we are going to be doing the waffle stitch here and I'm just going to get us started with the color change. Do four chain for our first row. I'm just going to trim that. So our first row is just a row of double crochets, nothing new with that, and I can tuck in these strings here. Remember double crochets are done by yarning over, going into that stitch, pulling through, yarn over, go through two yarn over and go through two. And we're just doing that all the way across. So for row two, we're going to chain two, one, two, and that counts as your first double crochet. Then you're going to do a front post double crochet, and to do that, these are our posts, and you're just going to double crochet into them like that. Um, if you had a back post double crochet, it would be done from the back like that but we don't have any of those on here. We're only doing front post double crochets. So then after that, you're going to double crochet into the next two stitches, just like you normally would. And then you're gonna repeat that across the row until you reach your last two stitches. So here we are at our last two stitches, and what we're going to do is a front post double crochet, and then you're going to double crochet into the top of the chain from the previous row. And there's our first row of the waffle stitch. You can start to see some of that texture in there and the squares that are getting formed. Now we're going to turn our work back the other direction and chain two. That's counting as your first double crochet once again. And then we're going to double crochet into the next stitch right here and then we're going to front post double crochet into the next two stitches or the next two posts rather and that is going to get repeated all the way across once again until your last two stitches.
last two stitches. And what we're going to do is double crochet into the next stitch. And then double crochet into that last chain area. So with our two rows, you can really see that texture starting to take off. And you just repeat rows two and three until you've gotten to the length that you want. So here we have more rows of the repeats and you can see our squares are fully shaped here. So just keep going until you reach that six inches that you're looking for and then we'll see you next month for our next stitch. Good luck!